Hello, welcome. This is Berdi. Welcome to a new lesson in Houdini. Today we will take a very famous effect in Houdini, the explosion in Houdini. We use this effect a lot in the uh, visual effect in movies. Today we will build the foundation of the explosion in the sub level as a particles and control its velocity. So let's get started. <laughs> So let's get started. Hit tab and type sphere. Oh, it's not in English. Yeah, okay. Now we have a sphere. We want to cut it from the half and uh, move it a little bit in the y axis. So first we need to convert it to polygon. Our mesh boss will work. Oh, this the then increase the frequency like it then let's split uh, split is clam clam uh, clam I think uh, clip oh, I'm sorry sorry, sorry. yeah it's clip then let's move it uh, transform. Let's move it in the y axis, maybe 0.2. Now we can see the half uh, sphere moved in the 0.2 meter in the y axis. Okay, this is the first. Second, uh, we need to uh, scatter some point let's scatter maybe ten um, hundred I don't need a relax iteration as we can see now then we need to uh, move all these uh, points in a certain uh, direction to make like an explosion effect okay so how can we do something like this we will uh, add pop network let's get inside the pop network we don't need to see the guide let's choose uh, scatter uh, all points only we will have the point that we have if, uh, from the source points meaning it will emit Points, certain number of points in every frame. So let's choose point. Uh, we need to make this zero. Maybe fifty thousand. And I only want to um, emit the particle only in five frame. After frame five. We will not emit any particle. We will not have. We will not have any particle. So we do this from the uh, constant uh, activation. So as we can see, we can type dollar sign F or double F. Both will work. Uh, F is for the frame. Double F uh, frame and uh, sub frame. Okay. As I know, uh, if I'm not wrong. So a frame uh, smaller than five. What this uh, could mean? It mean if the this frame uh, mean um, if the frame is less than five, it will give me one meaning. It's true. The condition is working. If it's the frame is uh, um, bigger than five, it will not. It will give us a zero. So again, if the frame is smaller than five, this is a condition. Give me one. If this condition uh, is correct, is working, is valid, then it will give give us one. If it's not uh, valid, it will give us zero. Meaning. The frame is smaller than 5, 1. Frame 1 is smaller than 5. 
as we can see so it give us one two three four after five after uh, four five after uh, in the five it will give us zero because now it's smaller than five so it will give us zero okay but we have the uh, uh, particle maybe we need to something like this okay uh, but as we can see the the particle is uh, uh, is not moving right so we, we need some velocity to inherit velocity here okay inherit velocity we can add uh, velocity but but it will go in every direction we don't want this we, we want the particle only go in the in the direction of the normal of the sphere okay so how can we do this uh, easy let's go back now uh, let's we have the scatter as we can see here we need to transform the normal direction to the particle okay then uh, modify it uh, in those direction or copy it from the normal to uh, the velocity okay so let's do this first we can do a normal we can use both facet compute uh, I think facet no yeah facet compute uh, normal but we will use normal this is the normal as we can see the normal in the vertices if we go here and in the vert vertex vertices okay we we want it in the points so now the uh, normal attribute normal in the uh, point this is what we want then we want to convert it or transform it to uh, to the velocity okay there are many ways to do this but uh, the easiest in this example is to make attribute wop because we will have lots of attribute wops here let's do this we have the normal the easiest part is just copy the normal to the velocity so if we go back here if we click this we'll have the um, uh, velocity inside but if we uh, we can see it as um, in a better uh, uh, presentation like this so this is a velocity we can we can see it from this tool as a as a trail display trail or uh, if we go here as a vector this is a vector style this call this is calling a vector style same as normal okay it give us a, a, a better idea of the direction of the uh, velocity okay if we if we check this if we if we if we choose the trail velocity as we can see we're not going to have a, a, a better uh, idea we're not going to have a, a good idea about it we cannot see it uh, perfectly but here we have better uh, presentation for it okay we can use any of it doesn't really matter uh, if we choose to use it maybe we need to uh, to reduce to maybe 0.5 to the half Mm -hmm. This is the first. Now we have a velocity. If we go to the point, if we go, if we, as we can see now, all the points go in the direction for the velocity for every point. Every point has a um, direction from the sourcing. So now the particles that we emit in the pop network will have. Uh, 
uh, we will move in the direction of the velocity okay but we need to reduce the life uh, expectancy meaning the life the, the, the life how long it will live maybe 0.1 and let's make a variation for 0.05 the variation mean plus or minus and yeah, it is 0.1 it will be from 0.1 minus 0.05 or 0.1 plus 0.5 so meaning it will be like the range will be uh, from uh, 0.05 I think to 0.15 so as we can see it, it will uh, it will disappear very correctly as we can see here maybe we can make it like two maybe make it uh, one something like this yeah so it will live a little longer but of course we need to have a variation in this movement we can we can do it in different way uh, one of it inside here is make a I think uh, uh, I think force wind or pop for, yeah pop force I think pop force pop force if we make it amplitude like this swirl size maybe make it smaller let's check again yeah as we can see now we have a, a variation right we have a different variation also we can I think wind has a wind uh, has a yeah air resistant we can make benefit for, for air resistant as well we can use uh, air resistant instead it will give us the same it has the same noise attribute but also we have uh, air resistant but of course we will make it like very small air, air resistant let's make it 2 make it uh, 0.5 something like this yeah let's need to make something like this yeah as we can see now but still um, not wh what I want okay we'll go back for it in a second but first we still has to uh, modify the uh, velocity here we want to make a noise in the velocity there are two ways to do this one way uh, inside the attribute VOP itself uh, and the other way just using um, point velocity point velocity it will take the velocity and add to it uh, a swirl or a curl noise if we need a curl noise but we don't need actually a curl noise we need more uh, if we if we want to uh, use the point velocity it will be like this we will choose keep incoming uh, yeah so maybe something like this yeah as we can see now this is the scale yeah okay swirl size this is very big a huge scale of swirl size then it started to get smaller and smaller so all this will be the direction which the the particle will move okay you can see it maybe something like this as we can see now but uh, that doesn't look the, like um, that doesn't look like the direction of the explosion that we usually see because the explosion doesn't uh, usually move uh, uh, below it move up no usually right so we can also uh, control it by the uh, add velocity direction we can make it like this so most of it will will move in 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 this direction 
right so if we go like this here again let's make this one more time so as we can see but we need to uh, um, change the scale of the uh, velocity right because we, we see it's, it's a big uh, it's a huge here right so we need to change it so let's go back let's check the velocity again so the swirl size maybe I will make it smaller much smaller something like this so when we see it here let's make this yeah that looks much better maybe also we need to uh, change the uh, we need to make it go down a little yeah go down a little bit like this 0.5 let's make 3 turbulence let's make it 4 ok and uh, also this uh, is the scale of the swirl the, the, the strength of the swirl itself ok but I will leave it like maybe we can maybe we can get something like this that looks much better swirl size maybe let's check this looks like uh, an explosion most of the particle uh, we can also uh, control it from here again make it a little up like this ok that looks better can play with it until you find the a better uh, the best uh, result okay we can we can we can use this now as we can see we have all we need for the explosion and it's, it looks good actually so this is the first thing the second thing uh, maybe we can make it the scale. Make it 5. Make it scale 4. Uh, maybe 5. You can play with it until you find the perfect. Uh, the perfect result okay okay so this is the first uh, option the second option is we can uh, modify uh, or make the direction itself or make a noise in the direction from the attribute vop itself okay so this is an option this is option a and we can use another option let's make it for let's make a switch you, you, you don't have to make a switch but just to now we are in the option zero that's that's mean we will take this only if we switch to one we will take uh, the result from from this only okay as we can see here this is uh, this is one this is option one if we make it zero it will take this node okay so it will take every uh, every connected node will have its number here and we can choose it only we have two nodes so it's it started from zero to one if we have another one we will have one two three four and we can choose between them which node we take 
it's different than the merge merge take everything but the switch only take uh, as I as I said only one from the connected by its number okay so let's make it one let's make uh, let's make the option B that we can make it meaning we can uh, make it by our own let's make uh, think maybe we can choose turbulence noise take a position we'll have a, a, a noise here we will multiply it to the uh, normal this is a normal okay maybe you can choose 3d okay so uh, but, but, but actually I don't want to have any minus velocity I only have want to have from 0 to 1 so I can make a clamp so every uh, any uh, negative value it will convert it to positive yani anything under 0 it will convert it to 0 and above okay we can make it by clamp or by fit range usually I think uh, to, to, uh, turbulence noise give us a, a value between minus 1 and 1 I think this is its fit range okay but anyway now we have the uh, clamp here now we can choose it uh, if we uh, uh, choose the velocity as we can see now we have it like this in a different direction of course we need to import all these parameters to control it so maybe we can go to parameter uh, uh, box and vip uh, create input parameter now we will have it we can control it from here okay but also uh, we need to do some uh, we, we need to have to have more control like the direction we don't st we still we don't have a direction so we need a direction so uh, we can I think take the direction and make it mix between two things the direction of, of, of the normal and the uh, the direction of the normal and let's say another parameter yeah this is number two okay we'll choose a vector because we need a vector three for a vector like this okay we call this uh, well uh, direction we we'll copy it paste it here okay no problem well direction so this is a well direction we we want to have the a bias so we'll import this also as the bias itself between both then we will multiply it instead of the normal we will we'll, uh, we'll connect it instead of normal okay third, third thing we will uh, import another uh, parameter uh, by the uh, middle mouse or the wheel if, we, if you hit the middle mouse here you will have this uh, menu choose the first one promote param parameters double click or even without the double click but for the demonstration this will be the scale the well scale okay so now we have boss we have all what we need of course the scale now we cannot see anything because we don't have any uh, 
everything is multiplying by zero so it will give us zero so first let's give it one so first we have the uh, velocity second uh, let's start it to play with the uh, make it two to be more uh, obvious like this now let's now let's play with the uh, noise uh, attribute okay maybe i will make the frequency uh, small or big this is uh, the opposite of the uh, point as we can see here when we uh, scale the swirl size it it, it give us a small a swirl but here when we when we make it small the frequency is small it give us a huge uh, swirl right so it it, it work like the opposite we need we want a, a big uh, scale let's make it three by three by three for example something like this we want to make the amplitude is two also maybe the third uh, yeah okay so we have this uh, direction so uh, where was we yeah so uh, let's uh, now after we have the uh, different scale for the noise this scale meaning when, when we have a, a, a longer or a taller uh, line then uh, another line is shorter that means the speed of this uh, point which has uh, this velocity will be very fast the long line meaning it's move very fast and the short line meaning it's moving very slowly okay also we can put it to a fit range if we want to control the uh, velocity again but we will come to this later now uh, let's uh, control the direction as we can see now if we want to make the direction upside or down or left right uh, backward forward maybe I will make it something like this so most of it will go in this direction like an explosion maybe we can also check uh, let's make the well here perfect oh yeah we have from minus one to almost one we don't we don't want to have any minus we we want to uh, yeah no no it's okay this is a direction not the strength this is the direction so it's it's fine to have minus minus zero meaning it will go in this direction in the uh, x direction uh, in this in this direction like the x here x here this is direction okay so let's let's make yeah one so let's check the velocity now make it back as we can see now actually I like this one more but of course we need to have uh, more strings so let's go back let's uh, increase uh, maybe amplitude for three maybe something like this yeah okay this looks better uh, scale four like this uh, frequency maybe something like this let's check it again still uh, very slowly let's make it Make this by five. Let's see. Maybe 
looks better but let's increase the scale by 10 yeah that looks much much better now as we can see now looks much better as real and explosion going in every direction also we can control the uh, this uh, lines to, to have uh, uh, more lines or a big one like this but I, I, I see it. this one looks nice it's a big explosion okay so looks nice okay so we will take this of course as we if we take the zero we'll take the other one the other one need more work but it's not bad as well yani. but we will go with the second one second option okay so now uh, let's get inside here maybe we, we take a pop wind let's see make it a little uh, make it a little uh, slower maybe 0 0.1 take this as well Okay, looks good. Looks good. Let's go back. And that was it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, please type it in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And I see you in the next time. Have a good day.